show you how to uh, these these things here you can buy them at Home Depot they were supposed to hook up to your dryer for the winter time and it can save on your uh, electricity bill so it would put heat in your house and uh, and uh, this thing right here would collect all the all the stuff but see how messy they get but you can see that they're kind of nasty looking so I wanted to show you that to demonstrate before I throw this thing away but we, we pay I think 15 bucks for this and you have to constantly fill it up and it's nasty this is the easier way to do it a friend of mine showed me we tried it last year and it works good so you get a five gallon bucket of Home Depot and lead or Lowe's wherever you get it doesn't matter you're going to get a plumbing fitting for a commode it goes on the bottom of the commode fits like that and you're going to do one two three four five six seven eight eight bolts about an inch and eight nuts you're going to take it lay it on there make it circle cut it out and these right here don't have to be see these are kind of sloppy i just kind of did it you can make triangles circles squares whatever on the outside and just take a razor blade cut those out and then you're going to put this template together screw it and not screw it put the bolt on it stick it on top and you can get more water in this fill it about halfway full of water you ain't got to mess with it really just come back and check it and then rinse it out and make sure it's clean water and uh, my wife she likes to put a little bit of uh what are they, natural essential oils central oils sorry central oils she puts about a, a couple drops in there. Couple drops, teaspoon. You'll know when you're, when you're putting it in. As you're drying, it'll make it like a nice smell in the air, and it also uh, it heats your house up and have a little bit of moisture inside too. So, compared to this, under ten bucks you can get all this stuff. Hook it up to your vent. I used an old belt, and I don't, I don't really need it anymore. You can use like a, um, I guess your little piece of plastic or something. What, what is it next called? Uh, a zip tie. Zip tie. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. <laughs> Put a zip tie on it or whatever. It don't have to be held on real tight, but only on uh, electric dryers. Do not, I repeat, do not use it for a gas dryer. And you'll see it. Uh, sort of venting now, all that. why now? Why can't they use it in a gas dryer? You don't want to use it for a gas dryer because they got carbon dioxide coming off the gas dryer, and you don't want that to vent inside. There's a reason why the gas dryer needs to be vented outside. Oh, Ew, yeah, it's gross, is, right? Even the baby knows that's, 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 They should be ashamed of themselves doing something like that. But, uh, <laughs> but I guess it's um, probably good for apartments. Yeah, I guess uh, it's still, uh, I wouldn't recommend that for anybody. This is a lot better, a lot more water you can put in it, and you ain't got to empty it, and it's it's never got that dirty from and this it's, little one. And it's really the same material because same thing, it's a plastic a bucket. Bigger scale and it, it's easier, it's e a lot easier to do. And, and less maintain. If you got a busy schedule, uh, this will be the way to go. And I, you, like you say, summertime, hook it back up to the outside. Only use an electric dryer, not a gas, for that reason. Uh, and you'll see, uh, all sort of venting all that stuff outside for your electric dryer, you're just heating the outside and you might as well just vent it inside. And, while you're washing and your or drying your clothes, you uh, get a little bit of extra heat, save your uh, heat costs. Hope this works out for you. If you have any questions, uh, I guess comment below, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share it to someone else. Maybe we can help someone else out. All right, thank you. One thing before we go, I forgot to tell you about. On the new lids, they're going to have a little piece like this. Make sure you pull that off because uh, whenever you do fill it up, it's easier. Instead of having to stick it on each time, this is only for like a, see how easy that is? So make sure you pull that off. You're also going to need a drill bit too, about the same size as your screw. I can't remember what size it is off the top of my head. But uh, whenever you uh, whenever you cut this circle out and you line it up, you're going to put a dot on each one of those and then run your drill bit down through there afterwards and stick your bolt on. But you need a drill bit, a black marker or any color marker, a lead and a bucket, five gallon bucket, and this template, these eight eight screws and nuts. And they're, and about, they're about an inch what long. About a, what are those knives? What are they called? A carpet oh, knife? Oh, a nice sharp carpet uh, razor blade. Nice sharp razor blade also. So make sure it's sharp because if you're dull, anytime you mess around with dull knife, you, you have a tendency to cut yourself or something. So make sure it's sharp. Thanks. The baby's having a fit, so thanks.